Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Joy and congratulations on making the most important decision of your life by accepting Jesus Christ into your life as your personal Lord and Savior. Listen, this is a great moment of joy and celebration because the Holy Spirit now dwells within you. So today I'll explore what it means to be saved and how you can embark on your new journey with Jesus Christ. So let's get started. When you accepted Jesus Christ into your life, you became a new creation. The Bible tells us in 2 Corinthians 5.17, it says, If anyone be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, they have become new. So what that means is that your past has been wiped clean and you are now a beloved child of God. And that's your new identity, a child of of God. And we can see this in John chapter 1 verse 12. It says, Yet all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. So embrace the identity and the amazing grace that comes with being a child of God. Your new journey with Jesus Christ involves growing a deep and personal relationship with God. And here are some few steps that will help you grow. Number one is prayer. You should talk to God daily. Prayer is your direct line to God now, where you can express your thoughts, concern, and gratitude. Philippians 4, 6 encourages us. It says, do not be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving let your request be known to god i would like you to have this at the back of your mind that there is nothing too big or too small to tell god you need to tell god everything involve him in every aspect of your life no matter how tiny it is engage god because if it worries you it worries god and number two is reading your Bible. The Bible is God's word and your guidebook for life. And if you don't know where to start, you can start with the gospel in the New Testament to learn more about Jesus' life and the teachings of Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 105 says, Your word is lamp for my feet and a light on my path. So I pray that the Bible guides your decision and actions going forward. Number three is worship. You should spend time worshiping God. And worship can be singing, praying, praise, or even quietly reflecting on the goodness of God. It's a time to express your gratitude and your love to God. And now that the Holy Spirit lives within you, you are called to live a life that is led by the Spirit, which means your life now needs to reflect the fruits of the Spirit, which are love, peace, kindness, patience, gentleness, goodness, and self-control. And as you grow in your faith, these qualities will become more evident in your life. And as I said in my previous video, I said that you will not become all of this in your own strength. The Holy Spirit, who now lives within you, will gradually produce all of these fruits in your life. So always trust in the Holy Spirit to guide your thoughts, your actions, and your decisions to always reflect these fruits. Being part of a community of believers is very important. Hebrews 10, 24-25 reminds us, and let us consider how we may spoil one another on toward love, good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. Please, you need to find a local church where you can grow, serve, and fellowship with other Christians. It is very important. And if you don't know where or how to start looking for a church to attend, you can ask the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit now lives within you. And if you don't know how to ask the Holy Spirit, you can merely ask him by saying, Holy Spirit, help me find a church. 
or put it in your own words. And I am 100% sure that he will drop the answer in your heart. As a new believer, you have a powerful testimony to share. Jesus has called us all to spread the good news to nations. As we can see in Matthew 28 from 19 to 20, which is famously known as the Great Commission. It says, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. All you have to do is share your own faith journey with others and inspire them to seek Jesus. And if you don't know how to do this or you don't know where to begin, you can also ask the Holy Spirit for help. And I am sure it will give you the courage to do this. So in conclusion, now that you are saved, a beautiful life lies ahead of you. So embrace your new identity in Christ, build a strong relationship with God through prayer and Bible reading, live a life led by the Spirit by letting your life reflect the fruits of the Spirit, join a local church to grow in your faith and fellowship with other believers, and share your own faith journey with others to inspire them to seek Jesus. And I'd like you to always remember this, that you are never alone. Remember that the Holy Spirit lives right inside of you. So God is with you every step of the way. Thank you for watching. If this video blessed you in any way, then like, subscribe, and share with others so that they can be blessed as well. And listen to this. If you have watched this video to this point and you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ into your life as your personal Lord and Savior, then you can make that most important decision of your life today by watching my previous video, Are You Confident You Will Make Heaven? I have also dropped the link in the comments below. May God richly bless you in your new exciting journey with Jesus. Until next time, goodbye.